I can't breathe in this thing. It's uh cycle fifteen thirty. Yeah, I uh, I blew past a couple of milestones. It's been about a week since I recorded. I've been trying to put out various spot fires and uh, waging the war on entropy. <laughs> it's I've my power wobbled up and down a bit because some stuff backed up. Uh, I'm going to have to resort to building something not of my own design, which I'm going to be honest in any game like this. I always kind of see that as a bit of a personal failing. Like, uh, I might, I might lean heavily on the wiki for numbers and stuff, but anytime I have to resort to using someone else's design for something, I always see that as a bit of a personal failure because I should have been able to think of this stuff on my own. The problem is that some of the things that come up are things I would never have guessed would have worked because they're just unintuitive. Uh, there's a... I'm looking at my second monitor here. A screenshot from Paint of a setup that runs uh, glass down into lava to heat up a bunch of water to run three steam turbines, and then an aqua tuner with a bypass, and it uses a door to open and close it so it doesn't overheat. I would never have thought of that on my own. I would literally have never thought of that on my own. Uh, I've always felt that... Uh, how to put this? Any problem you solve by yourself tends to lead to a greater understanding of why the problem happens and how you can resolve problems similar to it in the future. Whereas simply relying on all the tricks other people have done doesn't give you the uh, the background knowledge of why the problem happens in the first place. If that makes any sense to you at all. Like imagine, how I put it? Imagine an electrician wires up a house They've watched, they've read all this stuff. Like here's here's the how and why of how you run wire, and this goes here, and this one's there. But never knowing any of the why behind it. And then thinking, well, then I should be able to use this knowledge and do this. And then it shorts out. And you're like, well, I don't know why that happened. And the reason you wouldn't know why that happened, because you didn't have all the theory behind it. A game like this has a lot of theory behind it. <laughs> it has substantially more than I knew about when I fired it up the first time, which is probably led to why I've had so many failures. But down here, I'm not going to do it on camera. Cause it's going to take forever and I have to build up materials and blah 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 and stuff. And I don't have anywhere near enough steel to do it. But probably going to happen right over here. Around here somewhere, because I've got a fair amount of lava to play with, uh, which means if I look at my screenshot, it's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high, and maybe you won't fit there. I don't know. Either way, I still have to run a great big fat wire down here, which I can't really do because I'm currently taking up my ladder with that. And if I do it anywhere else, I have to put an airlock in, otherwise this plus 80 Celsius is going to wind up causing even bigger problems than the current war on entropy I'm waging. Which I have managed to win in a couple of spots, but it's it, energy-wise it's costing me a ton of power. So up here, one aqua tuner, one steam turbine. This is cooling off all of this. This is actually a lot cooler than I want it to be. This, uh, so this pump down here is picking up water and circulating it all over this industrial area for cooling and then spitting it back out on top of a plain old everyday tile on top of this steam turbine. And it's still coming out really cold. So this tur steam turbine staying cold, the water that comes out, it's supposed to spit out 90 degree water. So by the time it comes out, if we, da, 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 time it comes out, it's at 85.9, which means 
it has to steal more heat from the tuner to turn back into steam. And uh, in terms of cooling, holy crap, you can tell exactly where I've run it. <laughs> exactly where. Uh, kind of to the point where I've had to cool off other spots just to make sure that this comes back at a temperature high enough that's not going to cause problems when it goes back out again. So right now, it's going to go to minus 5. And if I leave this run for a while, it will eventually cool off even further because it's it's done all its business cooling all of this and it's coming back a little too warm. Uh, this uh, polluted water doesn't freeze to like minus 22. So this ignore the spaghetti. Just ignore the spaghetti. I can run this probably I can probably run this up here and use it to cool off the oxygen coming off of this uh off of these guys rather than spending uh phosphite phosphorite on these wart seeds. I could probably do that. Because like it's still coming back at minus where are we here? It's still coming back at 1.4 degrees. Okay. I could happily have that come back five degrees higher and still be perfectly fine. This won't get too cold. Uh any dupes I send down here shouldn't whine and cry about the cold. And it's like yeah, it's cold. Look at this. That's running, that's idle at 1.1. It's generators at 5. It's refineries over here. We're doing a great job of keeping this guy cold too. This polymer press, if and when it ever runs, it doesn't get a chance to get very high because it's defeated by the cold pretty quickly. It is, however, a very energy intensive solution. On the other side of energy intensive solutions, we have this one. This guy used to sit over here. I had to move him up here uh, for sanity's sake. I'm slowly cooling my ethanol pool back off in the process of just running a, a bypass in here to keep stuff cool. This made it all the way up to about 45 degrees. This here, I'm having an absolute heck of a time cooling off because this line comes in hot. I use a bit of it to cool that off. And then I try to cool it off through here so I can send it out for cooling. And then it comes back. Uh, no, it comes down here, da da da, through here. Goes from 71 to 45 does some stuff, comes back at 50, goes back out, and then I think it goes straight to uh, I think it goes I think it goes into this. I'm fairly sure it goes into this. I'm fairly sure. But I wrap it, I just, this this heating solution, this cooling solution is not, God, deadlines everywhere. This cooling solution is not working. I think what I need to do is shell out for the steel and cool this stuff directly rather than keep screwing up my cooling tank. Because like the this ethanol is coming back at, it's coming back at 43, which isn't bad, right? It's keeping... It's kind of keeping everything here reasonably stable. Don't mind the 90 degree ethanol distillery. Uh, however, we're still looking at 50 some degrees in a lot of these spots. That's that's losing the war in entropy. This has to change. The problem is, in order to do this, that's another, even if I use just one and even then, one might not be enough. Like if I, I would have to put it on this line, which would only knock it down to, that's 14, 54. 
the sheds. What are we shedding here? 67, 12 degrees. Still doesn't get us that far. Should we want 12? No, 20, 22 degrees. Still doesn't get us that far. And this loop has to come up and cool off again anyway. Either way, this, this is untenable. It's completely and totally untenable. And as a result, this used, this has all got to come out. This is the arbor tree. This is my lumber, my lumber mill. <laughs> that had to get moved because I couldn't keep this under 40 degrees. And I think I lost, I lost at least two trees. And given that you can only get, as far as I know, without doing a bunch of pip ranching that I don't want to get into, uh, you only get acorns as care packages. Which means if you screw them up too badly, you don't get them back. This had to come down here. We're going to cool that off. This is becoming a problem because I can't, I'm not using up enough water. <laughs> One problem after another. But I don't think I've done anything other, any other big stuff since then. It's mostly just been beating my head. Oh, no, I have. Up oh, there. I'm slowly working on this. Uh, I thought about putting in solar plants, but I need glass to do that. I don't have a glass kiln. I don't have anywhere I can conceivably run one without screwing up the, the heat in that area. So. And again, on things that I would never would have guessed, right? There's some cheesy thing where you drop this stuff onto a bunker door, onto a Man, uh, automated airlocks or something like that and it chews it up and breaks it up so you can pick it up instead of just having it pile up everywhere and this has to go given my poor planning I think my rocket silo is going to go over here we've got a whole bunch of oh yeah I'm using that up aren't I why is there hydrogen in there I'm not pulling off of that, am I? Those would all better be just ins. Just ins and you're an out. Huh. Okay, well, you're oxygen. That's good. You don't actually do... This is... Uh, I had to get in here. I had a, a lump of gold turned into a, a square of ore. <laughs> which come, I had to send someone in there to mine it out. Of all the nonsense. It's not been a good week. It's not. I think I lost. Uh, here. Let's give you the. Let's give you the gory details. <laughs> of the last week. Uh, total oxygen. Total power. Ta words. 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 Work. Yep. There's some problems. Our average power wasted was next to nothing. And then everything turned on again, and then next to nothing. And now we're here. We're running really close. Work time travel. Here we are. Duplicates. So are we here? It's been about a week. We're here. And then you can see uh, a slight oops there. And then uh, a slight oops there. That says three. It's actually been five. <laughs> I've killed five dupes in the process, three of which were on one project because they would run up. Where the hell is it now? They kept using this ladder. I've no idea why, because there's a ladder here. They would come up this ladder so they could come up here so they could run that way. And every time they ran through here, they would get scalded. Because this thing is... The saltwater geyser is running. And I I didn't think to tile this all in. So now it's 
80 some bloody degrees. And the process of trying to get some tile built, I had three people go down on heat stroke and no one came to help. Because I already had, I only had the three triage carts and they were occupied. So they just laid there and died. Rather unhappy. Rather very quite unhappy. But back at it. I gotta get some power going that's not doesn't fluctuate or I have to store or whatever. I'll be down here. I think I can fit it in. I gotta go fifteen across. I like to stay away from the really hot abyssalite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I've got room here. Diamond glass in the door and some other stuff. And uh let's see how many dupes I can kill while I do it. All you guys had to do was clean out the toilet once in a while. That's all you had to do. Well, I was kind of minding my own business, slowly walling this all in so I can do the the cheaty liquid lock thing by coming in and having a nice big vacuum here. And you'll notice this number over here. It's only got two digits. Normally it's got about three. But what happened was a little while ago, I cut a wire over here so I could run this big fat... Not you, uh... This guy here across a bunch of that. And I only noticed that I had reconstructed it at a priority five a few minutes ago. That uh, that power line ran this, which supplied oil to these, which kept them running. So, uh, Six over here. Four kilowatts went offline and threw us into chaos. So all hands on deck. Threw up these here. These guys are on a, their own switch, so if I want to, I can shut them off. Hopefully what I'm doing is going to work. And then we are absolutely all hands over here. I want a bunch of coal. So that's one, two, thirty-six. That oh my god, that replaces one petrol generator. Thirty-six and you've got the tune-up, right? You don't, because no one wants to finish this part off. Put the roof on this thing. Thirty-six. And two fifty six, which doesn't quite make up for the petrol generators, but I don't have enough choice. In the process of trying to get more power running, I flatlined the base because I stopped paying attention to something for a couple of minutes. Hopefully, this is going to work. We'll get this all up and running. Stop for a sec. Where's this coal generator? Priority eight, these coal gens. Hopes they get something. Coal's right there, guys. You can go and get it. It's right there. Coal's right there. Five thousand coal in this room. How are we doing? Er is still not doing well. Call it 
we're still not doing well. God, I've given it all up. What's my power consumption? Power usage. That's just right now. Over the course of the day, yeah, this crater a few minutes ago, so. Power wasted. Well, it says we might be wasting some power. Although, kill it, yeah, okay. Not much. Oh, man. This, this hurts so much. I want to fill this guy up. I'm just trying to climb. Oh, we're still not doing good. And that's with. That's with. This sh these guys shut off because I have a switch here. We're still getting a little bit of residual heat off of them for a little while. Then this guy down here is going to be dead. No, I can't. Do I have you on a switch? Was I smart enough to put you on a switch? Nope, that's the door. That was a mistake. It's going to heat the hell out of that crabber. No automation wire. You were connected to something else. And now I've managed to heat this door up for no good reason. And I can't shut that off. All right, power's climbing. The emergency measures seem to have worked. I need to get this thing done. Hopefully we don't run out of coal or natural gas between now and then. So I missed one tiny spot of oil in all of this. And now, oh, god damn it. And the undid the liquid walk, too. Now I have to build my way all the way back out, redo the liquid walk. Every time you try to do something in this game, Every bloody time. When it rains, it pours. So normally, I wait till this guy's calmed down, and this is all calmed down, and some of this stuff isn't horribly super temperature, but I took my eyes off it for a minute. This used to be filled up to about here with water, with some pipes that came through to keep it all cooled so it would cool off. Instead, I have 24 tons of iron stuck in a spot I can't dare send anyone into. Everyone shut up for a minute. If I type in iron, uh, 32 tons of iron. I have no idea where the other 11 are. I've been waiting an hour to get one wire done down here. To get one wire run done so I can actually start this stupid thing up. Waiting to get this done. And it's not happening because apparently um, all of my iron is trapped inside of a volcano behind a bunch of steam. And I don't want to use up what little iron ore I have left. Where are we here? I have a few tons of iron ore left. But it doesn't last long.
What do I need down here? What am I short? One damn thing done. Heavy what ones? 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3 tons of iron. And everything is at a flipping standstill. It's also almost 4 a.m. I'm trying to get this done before I go to bed. And it just refuses to happen. So I gotta make do this the hard way. Okay. Half an hour? Finally done. I'm putting these on. Get them done effing now, because I'm out of patience. Yeah, whatever. Just burn yourselves. Don't care. Don't care anymore. I've had to block off the spot where they keep burning themselves because they want to run up and like disinfect a ladder in a cloud of steam. Like I'm fairly certain the steam's doing that job on its own. Hopefully this works. What how are you taking over you damage? Oh, because you're on and you're not doing anything. That should kick in. You should kind of cool off or maintain temperature. So these guys here. Are supposed to kick in. Temperature is below 200 degrees. Okay, game. Pause. This door. No, I'm at the wrong one. No, he's below. Then this door is supposed to shut. Oh, come on, game. You worked in the friggin'. You worked before. See the signal if you're above 200 degrees. Heat comes through here. Boils the water. Trying. Let's try. Come on, just kick over. It's all you gotta do. Please, it's 4:23 a.m. Do something for me, please. That fires up. When this hits 200, these should send a green signal to open the door. Which might take a little bit. By the time he hits 200, I have a hard time hitting 200 here. You know, it's probably the stupid temp shift plates I put in. I'm trying to draw heat away from this uh, aqua tuner. No, oh, there we're getting 200. Up here, you should hit 200, the door should open automatically. So that these don't overheat.
It'll auto save there. Come on, you gotta work, please. Okay, Puh. so that opens up so that this doesn't completely overheat. So this thing only runs like every other second, so instead of 1200 watts, it's 600. These are generating ideally 850, but the constant up and down, eight, 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 say 830, 240. Come on, brain, you're in there. 2,490 on average, which is um, less than a petrol boiler. All of this for less than a petrol boiler, but I shouldn't have to worry about it. Here's the hoping. And then Nisbet. It's 80 degrees down here. Where do you think germs are coming from? Did you guys get germs on stuff? Why are you... There's nothing there. You OCD or something. Hang on, I know what's going on. I was supposed to put uh, five five tons of water in here. But this started boiling too fast. It's not getting in there. Yeah, it's like, it's like it's a half a ton of water per square. It's 15 squares across. I should have had. Seven and a half tons of water into the total. And it flashed to steam way too quickly. Because at one point I accidentally closed this door and moved a bunch of heat up here. You are disabled auto rep You are never getting hurt. Oh, come on. For real. What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to repair stuff. Disable auto repair. Disable auto. Stop. Stop. Stop this. Stop this foolishness. Stop trying to kill yourself. Now that the power problem solved, I can think of some other really dumb way of getting into this room of death. Hopefully. I'll see you in the future.